Hello my friend Valorman Mundi here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will enjoy the best place and moments on VCT America Stage 2. Between the best America's team in my station high, the forever underrated G2 Esports versus the new roster of the Latin Super Team. Crew Esports! Nelser is the new IGL for crew and he will face the new America's mastermind, Valen. This game will be a banger! Eyes on lift, this guy is playing great Valor man, one of the best players in the world right now. Smoke up on side to break it up just that little bit more as he would hope to peer over it. Paranoia connects with MTA, two players here, it's a, a reckless push there from Kesner, he gets the one and it's traded out instantly. And out of the shine heat. Still in this post plant. Here's Leaf. Swinging it at heat from the high ground. They able to get him. It gets taken low. And now it's up to shine. It's him. It's Valen, bro. It's Valen. The IGL is also a clutcher player, man. Okay. The metal is the only a guardian. And it pays off, man. And it pays off so well, bro. Yo, when Kazin starts on fire, man, it's a good sign for Kerr. They will spend the cash to give Kazin a guardian, or even a van. can take control of their game. It pays off massively. Oh, didn't go for the knife, humble guy. Huge rod from Kazant, man. Huge. One to one. Good start, man. Good start of a game. Obviously, from Kaznit starting off hot right now. He was statistically for essentially all of stage one up there. Him and Ospos, the top two duelists that we had, and it's been a bit slow for him so far in stage two. But that's insane, man. That is just outrageous. Economy is going to be swung three. Oh, eyes on Jonah. Eyes on Jonah. Leaf is baiting for him. This is a fake. That is a huge investment. Oh, he's not baiting, he's not baiting anymore. Did he check? He heard all that, no? Oh, yeah, yeah, he heard all that. Oh my god, Jonah. That's so huge, man. Oh my. He still has show stopper. Able to get in fast, our G2. The paranoia expended as well. Basically, no utility to play with for this retake. Tree smoked off. Satchel gets icy onto the side, but he's spotted out. Here's that showstopper. We've been. He got showstopper too. Oh, he died. One with the nade. One with the showstopper. Melsa did fall. Three to work with for. Huge run for G2, man. They have no money. Ugly now. His trend is done. Oh my goodness. Three each one. Trent hoping to catch something here, firing in through tree, but ice for crew turning over towards B now a 30 in the round. Great left. paranoia for delay from Valen. Melsa has to turn and deal with the turret. Crew now scrambling over the site. And patient for Valen holds that angle, but can't get the better of Kesley, who's having a game already. Chris playing good, man. And look at this proactivity from crew in another post plant, the push up. Again, Kesley. Yeah, when they have a good start, man, when these players are feeling, they are the scary team, bro. Very decisive on some of these little individual pops. He'll keep an eye on heaven for the time being. Here is Leaf. Spots him once more. Kesnit now he's brought low. Leaf can clean him up. Melser and Shai here, the ones standing front and center. And yeah, they're gonna Very win. scary team, man. Five to one. Time out. G2. Five volts. And Jonah Pig got destroyed, man. What a entry from Melser. He set up on B. Locked down a course here, deployed by Shah to try and set this up. We are going to have a Venn diagram of those Killjoy ults here. Melza says, perhaps I'm needed elsewhere. 
The rest crew falling back over towards Baby Door now. And the TP up towards the MTA. Mount. Well, I'm truly away for the action. He's a showstopper. Though I see trying to make his way in. MTA though, nipping at his heels. He might try and make a pincer of this. Okay. Now it's Melzer all over. He had the pit, by the way. Long way from the action. Now the wind vicinity to intervene. Paranoia over towards the spike, but from above, it's Fallon! That's beautiful! One more and he's got the job done. Trained his half. Back through the smoke, he goes and receives Melzer with open arms. Now G2 can do something with this. They can't just throw away their lives there, so further delay from the side of G2 to fight for... This round is worth two, man. G2 cannot afford to lose it. MTA has the Viper Spud. Planet 10 tier for Heat. That was the paranoia that got thrown through, and finally Icy chooses this moment to appear from baby door attacking viper's pit now set up Where's on the side but they're still going to go for it here comes a nightfall and immediately keson is brought down lee tries for another one it's giant mta to try and hold it down and trent is taking his time shy a loose end well he see icy's dome here as he swings oh, around the timing might not favor him in a dozen g2 get themselves now in a 4v1 and Jonah man i didn't know what the who was doing this round, bro? Not gonna lie. What Melzer was doing there alone? The sudden things are not looking too bad for G2. Time out. Much to be least chagrin. Paranoia is going to force it. Valen off this angle. Now Tree under the control of crew. And they are far from done. Valen able to find a good little peek there. Leaf getting involved. Give it to Trip with the seas by a bit of time now as Leaf has a bit of a crossfire with him. Lovely setup. Last player standing. There it is. Okay, Spike goes. One v one. It's Mouser. Well, now has to salvage it. It's Mouser, man. Good stuff there for crew. Absolute hero, crew. Hoping that. That was nice, man. That was nice. Kind of rotation. We lost the first one, but now we won, bro. Let's take a little bit of a risk. Let's go off of a a read from Valen that we can just be steadfast in this site, and it was almost the undoing of crew. Less from Mouser just having. Such a round. I mean, look at that. Yeah, man, that was insane. All three players, no one prepared to break it. Just a fundamental error that Yay! puts them on the back foot. <laughs> you expect better fundamentals here from a team like G2. I have the unmitigated confidence of your average reply guy right now. Go in the You're dead. What? Are the... What? Posture, at least some confidence to convince himself. Yeah, yo, man, this is not G2's fault, bro. It's cool. <laughs> oh, I'm not the level right now, man. This is what's happening. They're hitting all the shots, man. Look at this. This is not normal. This is the crew we know, bro. Incredible fire power. When these guys get going, it's hard to stop them, bro. They need leaf on fire, man. They need Trent on fire to have a chance to stop them. But this is on the map number one, so... Here comes Kesnin. It's got to be at least the third. He will he check his right though? He gets it in time. Yeah, yeah. This is look like his lumber. Not gonna lie. Armor today, folks. Some what serious a, protagonist energy. What a flick shot. Shades of wrath of their Mitch. Little old man reference. <laughs> Next map is Ascent. To the center will be a split, man. Last time I saw crew playing Ascent, man. They didn't look good. Kesnin didn't have a good game. Forward player set up on that ramp here. Smoke Today could have been different though. Cut Trent out of the action for now, which I just Oof. Oh my god, so clean man. 93! Will they show that replay? Like the, the, the shot from MTA on Icy? Please? Please? 70 kills for Kazan, man. And Mouser is also the IGL and fragging, bro. Beautiful, beautiful, man. Mouser is a great player. Hit that area of the map hard. Really catching out G2. Nice, man. This thing is scary, bro. This thing, they only have insane players, man. It's not just the Kesnet show, man. Melzer is playing good. Won two clutch, if I'm not mistaken. He's getting important kills. That is long range through that lurk wall. He's created an opening on the A site here. Crew starting to filter now across the Five and four. G2 aren't committed to heading to that extremity yet. In fact, they are working their way back towards MTA, the new addition who's 
Solid so far. Will he try to escape? He's so confident. He's so confident. He's so confident. I love it. I love it. His confidence up. Gets the two. Icy has to expend some utility to bring him down, but Leaf has got a timing. Yeah, man. Not G2 map, bro. And maybe it's not their day. Doesn't have one. And now silently it's G2 just creeping into that B site. Jonah P pressed up. He's already. And these two things that man, they are tight in the standings. Low on HP. No util to work with. Here's the double swing around the corner into a five HP target. We know how these go. Okay, one for one. It's Jonah P, man. G2 needs you right now, bro. They need you, man. They need you, bro. 50 HP in a dream. Heat though, not looking much better. Against the Brazilian. Gives it a tap. Here comes oh, the Brazilian, man. Heat. Huge clutch, bro. Huge clutch. This basically seals the deal, right? That's almost a death blow to G2 here. Looks like he might have even hit that scroll wheel as well to his detriment. Awkward little jump at the end. You know, I think if you just try to straight out of the way... How was this guy not on franchise, bro? The Brazilian things make the dumbest decisions i ever seen in my life, bro. I don't understand, man. The awareness, that single shot, oh my god, that is... Yo, that's insane, man. That's actually insane. And unfortunately, that was all for naught. Oh, yeah, just caught on the base three there. Yeah, that was after he got... He thought he had a timing on Kesnet, did Leaf. To have committed to this, but we know that they will be ending C. MTA steps up for one, gets traded out pretty instantly now. Help is on the way, but a little bit slow. Cheyenne Kesley to play through Water Force. Leaf sprays wild victory. So, if Crew is Brazil, they're gonna lose this round. A prowler and Shy tries to wrap to the left, finds nothing. Force back. Kesley wants to hold his ground, but it goes one for one. At least Shy can get the trade. Weaponry. They are not, man. They are not. They are. They are. They are not. They are not. They are not, they are not man. Crew is locked down, bro. Time out. Now crew make the buy. Decent conversion off the bonus, I suppose. Damage wise, Valen. Every oh, rip, every start of the round he gets caught. This time, of course, the seas catches him out. Oh, G2, please. I mean, these are the mistakes that you would never expect from a team like this. Two times now in rebel fights. No one breaking the hawk. Several players getting lit up. Free kills for crew. Yeah. So disastrous, man. So unlike them. We're talking about the most meticulous, disciplined team in America's. Right now, they look extremely scattered. To be fair, Crew is just looking good, man. We know what this team is capable of, and they are showing up big here today, man. Mad point. G2 fans, don't lose your hope. Next map is Ascent. Crew didn't look good that last time they play. The decider will be split in later today today we will have leviathan versus loud sadak versus aspas so sassy is the brazilian father in sadak the latin mountain he knows the summon an upper it's Icy playing safe with nothing but that Sheriff to work with here. And the spike is still heading over this A now. And I like this heat. Kesnit staying doubled up. Fighting together. Double facing. Lovely fundamentals. G2 can't break this baby door position. They struggle with it all round. All the util in the world. All the King's horses. And men couldn't get them in there. Good luck, bro. With this thing. GG. What a drubbing. And what a way to make a statement to start the series with playoffs on the line. Crew deliver on Lotus. And that is, that is a shocking result on Lotus of all maps. I thought it was bold from Crew to pick this into G2. Here we go, my friends. Map number two. Ascent. Kazant versus Icy. The Jato battle. Icy need to step it up here, my friends. Because his opponent is looking good today, man. Looking like the chasm, you know. And Leaf, this guy is the guy, man. And funny enough, this is exactly how G2 started their pistol round the last time they played Ascent against C9. Identical so far. All. Five four. This over here from Crew got pulled in the direction of A after that exchange. Against NRG, Crew really took a beating in tree around this area. That's where they suffered. As, uh... FNS really unwound them round after round. That oh. is huge info though. Followed up with the molly. Jonah still on the back step was having to clean up Kesnit though. Through the masonry no less. That man with the sheriff is going crazy today. 
Up comes Trent here now, threatening that heaven pinch. He's gonna eat that in Oh, good flash, man. For seconds. Oh, shit, 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 now can play off MTA and Arthur, but Valorant and A main is... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! ...factor here. Now it's MTA B3 and G2. That's a crazy pistol, man. Just said the omen is over towards that tree side. Now burst of speed from them here. Ready for a dash from Icy, and he goes across. Looking to test that switch, maybe. Two players grouped up in Boathouse now, and Kestit might be able to find a push out of CT here. Okay, 5v3, and also has a judge. Here come the reinforcements, but they're all grouped up in CT, our crew. Waiting for that paranoia to scale out. Nelson with only a judge, though. How does he get in range to actually get a kill? He will swap it out. Fortunate for him, but still 3v4. Also fortunate for crew. No one to deal with in B main. He they're going to clear that. They get the info. That's the last flash, but well used to make sure they're not going to get backstabbed. Still a bit of time to work with here, but Kesnick doesn't really have anything to work with. Molly in the boathouse, that's not going to be bothering G2 whatsoever. They're happy to split around that one. Kesnick gets one, forced away. Comes low. On the side, pushed up, one smoke to the right-hand side. of boathouse means that G2's options for swings are limited. It's Melsa giving it a touch. Kesnick approaching now at 40 HP and Leaf puts it out. It's all up to Kesnick. Good run for G2, man. Hold it down. G2 under extreme pressure. And when they're at their best, they have more than enough confidence to do it as well. Okay, fast hit behind the Null Command here. Not exactly reinventing the wheel of G2, but it's quite effective. Here comes Icy. Okay, okay. The crew are starting to sing. Now, though, Trent tries to slow things down. Melsa from heaven. Is that Spider-Man, bro? Away, but oh, my God, G2, you cannot lose a round, another round like this, man. Because Alif has to come in. There's no chance to bring the KO back into the fight. This is a bona fide 1v2. As G2 are at risk of getting thrifty. Leaf is pinged down. Nana Swarm into the back of the side. Goes over the head. And Leaf can't get through yet. Spike not to hand. The money's not great here either for G2, and he still tests it. Leaf oh my goodness, man. Crew have been destroying G2 upon their entry into this. A site have not found success there. It's that. Active fighting from Didn't expect the second third with the running out of heaven. Just swarming the players at Gen. When they've been on that site, G2 haven't even been able to tap the spike, haven't been able to be in a position to even think about planting it. <laughs> Finally. Time out. Change. Face, they take out Leaf. One for one, case in danger, and Icy brings it down. Okay, G2's duelist gets a little piece of the action. Now, straight over towards the side, he gets in. Let me tell you with duels. MTA through CT, and that smoke will stymie him for now. Tagged up as well, Stray. Got to be Hunter's Fury play, right? Just going to fall out of there. Yeah, if he can get the tag, he might try to, to even things up. Maybe this recon will reveal a G2 player. Will G2 break the ball? Susceptible. I hit. One tag comes out. No. Etienne under some pressure. Oh, this could be a chance. <laughs> Good job, Trent. That's a I was waiting for that, man. The course of this map, the two sovers going out at MTA with far less experience under these conditions. If crew managed to get some kills here, man. For this match. The crew down to two. They're really good for them. We didn't see enough from G2. Try to punish, man. Try to punish. Something crew may be considering here. Don't let them get out, bro. Very good for them. Yeah, I was going to say, look at the state of the economy. So good for crew. Dismal for G2. Kills really matter. Okay. They've got to get out with these guns. They need them. Get this kill, man. Get this kill with. But John is likely going to get out of this alive. Slim. Just playing. Should he get the kill, bro? One gun at least. Should definitely go for the kill. Is now about to feel some pressure. Okay, TP is from Mel, so they've reinforced it. Lockdowns for both sides. Counter lockdown is nice. Will G2 try to accelerate to break it? It looks like they will. They're going for it. They wasted too much time, though. They didn't hit you with the paranoia. Oh, oh my goodness. 3v2. Mel's are low. Well, Kesson has an out. Lockdowns are gone, at least. Nobody caught by those. G2 with two players to swarm over B with. Now operating from a disadvantage. Null command has popped. He has one flash available as well. Kesnick with the operator. Love that little switch. Mel's with a weak player with the op. Bogdan's law. Molly here throwing over towards Boathouse, I think. I see. I like the idea. Oh, he no missed, man. This is shot. Eventually, I see is going to be brought down, though, as Leaf can't really. 
Okay, okay. Man, no money for G2. They're probably gonna be on Onik next round. Everything invested Trent with the Yoden. Counter spam ideas from him. What? Oh! <laughs> and Kesnit. Outrageous shot. Shouldn't be possible, and yet here we are. Shy wants to push up now behind this recon. Tara's gonna take contact. He what? He got two? Wait, why are they pushing? They have number advantage. Oh my. They just throw the round, bro. just the B site where success has been found for them. Unfortunately, you know, save for Shy making a nice play, anchoring effectively. They just. Well, that's true. We will save. Towards CT with Shy, yet we'll probably just pass through. Good shot. From Speedway, catches Icy on the fadeaway. Shy gets backside as well. The support quickly oh. has Nick caught. What is this, please? The duality of Kesson again raises his head. <laughs> it's all to guess. And look at this patience from G2, just controlling the space. They don't accelerate off that pick. This but noise cut is so excruciating for crew. Yeah, just keeping options for themselves. Waiting for that smoke to regenerate, and now MTA is cut off. They don't have a smoke for market though, it doesn't seem to matter. MTA blown to smithereens as he stood in CT. But I held that speedway angle. Now hoping to double up with Melsa, it's just the two of them for the time being. Help me, on the way though. He needs to okay, get there. 2 for 1, it's Heyman. Did I gel? Can't win that one. Oh, the spike. That one can't afford to bring the KO back though. I have He'll spike. have to settle for the spike here in a 1 versus 1 with 20 Cover to play. He has all his util. One enemy here it goes. Valen steps out of the molly here. Has to find a swing from dice. He makes some noise. Valen capitalizes. Valen was just better, man. From the IGL. Not only does he lead the team with Didn't like the way Hitch played that, bro. Habs working the map, calling a nice slowdown like he did in the mid round, waiting for that smoke to regenerate to cut off that angle in spawn, making the right plays oh. individually, so consistently. Kesnitz trying to project anger against his shoulder angel with that shot. Go. One enemy remaining. Such a close miss. And again, getting caught out by something that G2 weren't doing on Lotus effectively. But there they do just. Seven to five. Crew need this pistol, man. They need to get their attack side going, and they need Kazan to be on fire. To that happen. Recon's gonna be pinging Kazan out. He needs to retreat to Logs under pressure. Leaf takes a crack and it forces away from Melsum, but it's gonna be Trent exploding from stairs. Kazan though bides his time. Was able to find two from Logs in the end. It's three HP left on Melsum, but Kazan's. Oh, he won't be denied. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Only ice left, 1v3, but Mouser, 3HP. Now he's Locher. What a great way for crew to build up some buffer, having less of a successful campaign. Classics, look at the damage on the shot! It's caught on the cross! Yo, Trent is doing so much work with this Aldi, man. Jump timing to safety. Getting huge kills. Trent has that itchy trigger finger. Okay, they've come up mid though, so through market crew have access to the B side. It's two G2 players entrenched in Boathouse. The rest of them on the way. Taking their sweet time though, this is pretty sluggish from G2. Oh, the flash. Putting a lot of stock here in Trent to hold this ground and... Oh my god, Mouser. Now it's a little awkward. G2 with three to play with from outside of the site. Yo, G2 would be so bad if we lose this round. But it would be even worse if we lose this weapon Sumo. Maximum value. What will be the decision now? Would they go for it? SMGs at a range like that work perfectly fine, running and gunning. Call that the weeded special. Economy on the line for G2. Accept your loss, bro. Accept your loss and go. Yeah, it's smart decision, G2. So that's why I like this team, bro. Oh my god, Trent. To hold that line passively, but was forced to hold. This thing is here. Who's pretty good? Who is pretty good? Now crew, trend back towards market. They want to stay here and fight. And fight Oh my all. goodness. MTA <laughs> forced to get away from this one. And that's a nice double face there from Jonah. That was insane lift. Another in lane. Reposition from Shy. Getting close, but gets caught from the knife. Jonah P's utility. Always so consistent. MTA full flash there. Shy not so much. Just waiting for the contact. Oh yeah, the round's over. This is ugly stuff, and G2 get it done. 
They realize the crew want to fire on the side. They realize crew actually. You would think that they saved the weapons, bro. Set up here now from G2. It's... There's that one way. Ooh. There's that knife and Amy. Valen is facing oh, it. I mean, how many that was a good pick by Mouser, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty good. I was clean. Okay, only I see here now. Oh, he's in trouble. Nice try, by time. Lift is low. So much early action in this round. And Trent still has an Odin to play off Leaf. He's 10 HP wide. One shot guard for Trent. Oh, I don't like him, Elsa. Shy in the 1v2. Leaf low on HP. Only a shot for Trent. No one at Gen. That was a off angle plan here for Shy. And out into hell he goes. G2 had to unravel this. A game of Clue to find where Shy is waiting. And how do they play this to Lift get to play for us. Life away. Need to find Shy. Just a little juicy piece of bait for Trent to trade off of. Just Waiting a little to cycle that recon. A little amuse bouche for Shy. Oh, buddy, that's not good now. Down to 17, Shy! Yo, Trent, man, this guy, bro. So annoying to play against a dude like this, man. And as you said, Leaf serves himself up. Relocated towards Catwalk. They want to apply pressure elsewhere with this operator. Oh, dangerous. No chance for a trade either. I see drops that operator to the ground. And Kaznit says, is there no one else? And Slowing things down now, our crew. Can't be mad at that. Smoke is going to go down mid. You know, feign that it could be a cross back to B even. Kaznit just stands his ground where he killed Icy previously. G2, they are expecting this pressure on Cat. They've got a bait set up for Jonah in the corner. Oh! Captain by Captain, it's Valen for two. Oh my god, oh my god! Sea smells across, he's got a fight too and he's done it! Okay, okay, patient pays off, bro. Biding his time, so patient. It's just MTA now. Shock in his wake. And that on the faces of the crew fans here. As they threaten to let another one go begging, and it's Trent once more to deliver the death blow. And G2 finally coming to life on. Time out. Lockdown going to go in on B. Valen had actually pushed up into A main and is now going to TP back B. Cancels. Crew have market though. Guess they might have had a timing here. He's trying to get ahead of it. He was hoping for the window between the two lockdowns to give him the space to deal with Leaf as he returned to the site. It doesn't happen, but Kesley is still set up in a powerful spot at market here. Oh no. Oh no! They're not ready for it! They're not ready for it, man. The Odin sings out to funeral dirge for crew. They got onto the site though. Yeah, access to the site for crew, but here comes that Hunter's Fury going to go a little bit wide. Shy was trying to plant in an unusual spot. To his favor, he will survive. He won't get tagged. And now a smoke cycle for Melser will go down on to spawn. Do they want to play forward? Yeah, they do. That's MTA getting aggressive. The new man for crew pushed up close, trying to make the play. What a time here. Valor's about to get busy here. MTA's good for it. Very clean work. Now from CT, the only from that's a second for MTA. Racking him up. He and Melser have the crossfire. No need to go aggressive and he wants to. Oh my god, Jonah won the clutch, man. I thought crew was going to win this. They get so aggro and G2 training. Man, 11 to 8, the money from crew is not the best, but I think they will get some weapons for next round. Oh my god, I mean, that was a huge round, dude. Like, how did they lose that? And he gets one more after that. Oh, was Jonah P insane, man? Oh, Jonah P, you are insane, my friend. You are just too good, bro. G2 won in a situation like that. And crew, those old tendencies bubble to the surface at a pivotal moment. Still a buy here, but not much else to work with. Shy already down to 87, no armor. Doesn't matter. He can still click. Leaf completely caught off. Kesnet just barreling through tree. All right, I see Valen try and turn up the heat here, but now it's down to two. Jonah again getting involved. Nice for Kesnet. Spike out in A main. Kesnet needs to cross the scout. One is good. Has the dash rate for the second. 
And Hasler's nice put away for the it's time. It's me again, man. Oh, Jonah buddy. P. One v two. One v two for Jonah. And some things are inevitable. One this of the most underrated players or losing. in the most underrated team, bro. Bomb. He's twenty and eleven. What a shot that was with the blade storm. Tarrant takes contact for Shy, but Jonah doesn't overswing it. Time now for a rotation for Crew towards B, but they stay at A instead. But I play the right, they play the right. Crew stays alive, bro. 11 to 9. Time out. For NBA. He's going to go for a straightaway. NBA, oh, perfect catch. Hunter's Fury shut down. What a great zero point from G2. That's dirty from Jonah. Oh, I see. You know you want to. Misses the smoke shot. Can't repeat the heroics of. Kes it those few rounds ago. Right here. And now in hell they go. No plant quite yet for crew. G2 down to three. The spray for Trent. If G2 loses this round, it'll be my point for crew. I see with the operator here. Lee starts to soften him up a little bit. Kesnit a little low. This seen better days. Three players for crew embedded here on the side. Trent. Trent's on fire, bro. The jet is down. MTA trying to fire off from Gen. Two players set up here, but they're both low. Melsa. Smoke in his way allows him to play from the, the blooming outside part of it. An MTA. It's him, man. He can only trade. Biding his time. Melser gives it a tickle. Swings the edge of that smoke. And that's Melser again. How does he get that? Oh my god, Melser. Huge clutches, man. Yo, the new AGL is doing work, man. He's playing good, Varan. He's getting the frags. He's clutching. G2's pick, a pick in which crew look dismal against NRG. This crew, man, scary team, bro. Playing with so much more gusto, so much more decisiveness. Looks so good for us, man. Oh, are stepping up, finding entry. What's the fuck, man? I feel like it was the guy playing. The team looks static. Like, yeah, and 23, depending on the situation. Shock timing there from Trent. Get some good damage on MTA. Zero point threatens though, forces crew away. This is so good from them. That pressure in B main, it's given them the information. They know that forcing them off, it's probably going to A. Look at this rotate from G2. They are on their way to heaven already. Two oh, Janik. Beat them to the launch. Spray through the smoke. Spike now lose. Kezin forced to back up. He's suppressed for a moment, but he's already onto the side. Here's Cuba hit, man. Oh, so they flood? Oh, they flood? From heaven, here comes the push from G2, but Heat receives the first, is traded out. Why's he got two? Kesson and Shy. They're going back A. Back, back B. Have to salvage this for crew. And it won't be Can Shy find the timing Surely. right now? Discipline. <laughs> man, I see huge round, kid. Huge round. Let's see, man. And there are two vandals headed his way. 75 HP planted for stairs. Playing back sight. He's been the star of this series. One of the best duelists that we have in the world. It's up to him once more. A pivotal round here. G2 looking to start to build an economy for this last push to take the map. And they're going to be doubled up. Coming downstairs. Kesley, though, has a feel for this. Here's them squelching through the mud. A shoulder peek just gets... A look at Trent, then tries to take the fight proper, still needs to be safe about it. His ice is going for the defuse. Does he know? Does he know? Trent, man, for fire, bro. He, made, he missed his chance, bro. He missed his chance. It caught no one. He was expecting after that moment, after they had to give up B main, their plans of a B split. Nice, I see. And this one, man. A, beat them to the punch. The entire team got to heaven, flooded out, fought on sight. Stop the plant, denied it. G2's defenders all fall back to the site now as a lockdown is going to be deployed by Shy. And they're going to have to sheepishly get out. They're going to cross by Heat in doing so. MTA and Heat have the timing here. They have completely unraveled G2 so far. What lockdown timing going now? And frankly, a misplay from G2. Do you really want to stack that site against the lockdown? They've let it go. Okay, Jonah. Okay, Jonah. Down three. One with an eight. Overtime. Secured themselves overtime. No command and lockdown. Completely. Look who is here. What an attack have from them. A destroyer of the world, man. This cat in the morning, she was on fire, bro. It's just disastrous. They're forced to run. Joshua's going to destroy the house, bro. He's small, man. By that crossfire. He's a dangerous cat. By the split coming in. Is... 
the excitement from crew something we haven't seen in weeks <laughs> time out Oh, lift. Here. I mean, obviously they are ready. So common for a KJ to be in tiles in a situation like this. The 4-1 hit, so, so common on ascent. Okay, stack in the tree, and look how low Jonah P already is. Trent finished off. Kesnit Oh my god, dude. How? He wants to win, bro. He wants to win. He needs to get in through tree. Melsa, though, stalwart. He can't play, he can't play. More than happy just to keep this guy busy, and the kill is a bonus. Icy found one, inhale, make it two. Keslin though, threatening, pressuring Icy found three. What a run by Kesman. man. Meticulous from crew, a cascade of kills. They just come in and pick them up. Time out. Map right and serious it's point for crew. Ice has an up. Let's see what the new kid can do here, man. Will they check? Will they check? Nyoti? Of course they check, right? No, they didn't. Oh, the flash, they were so blind. Bro, they're not gonna check. They're not gonna check. Another flash still found in the plates. And that might make crew think he's not there. The trails are clearing! How does he win that with such low HP with Valen ready on the angle? I can't believe they did it. I can't believe it. In the pro game, they, they check why? Valen just sat there waiting for what we'll never know. I see at least has a strong angle. Yo, kid. From you gotta hit the shot, bro. He must even this up. He must be the man to hit the shot. Here. Now drone forces him off the angle though wide. He might have to repost. He gets there. MTA falls and then he backs away. There's a smoke in the way. But here comes Jonah. John is insane, bro. Chovy 2, Mouse or Fire HP. Back to drop. Heat. No spike plant, but the numbers are even. Crew, their destiny's in their Hit. hands. Only four HP. We've got the no command. Shock darts. One stray Odin bullet could take him down. And it finds him. It's just heat in a 1v2. We go again. We go again, my friends. And Leaf taking it a bit of a different approach through mid now. And this is so cool. Just facing from Cam and facing from down mid. The torrent does the work for him. Leaf set up for Tarot to take contact. And again, finally, he starts to establish control of mid. Trent? Doesn't swing off of it. The spray is very good though. Shy is limping away. Surprised he didn't get that kill. It was a great opportunity for Trent. G2 are going to try to accelerate, get into the site. They will do so for free. No one posted up in heaven. No chance for Kesnit or someone similar to take that early push. But it's crazy, bro. Spray here. Surprisingly, not very much damage. Jen protected G2 for the most part. Aldrin sees nothing. Recon backed up with a flash, hoping to ping some of these G2 players, but they're all hiding. Two in hell, one behind Jen is. We see Jonah look over towards that tree direction. Quick cloud burst there, but somehow Jonah falls to the shorty shot. Now I see Valen can come alive though. And they've got a main cover. Decent setup for G2 in the post plant now, but it's gonna be a trade. It's just icy. He dashes onto the side. Oh my goodness. Shy with a defusing crew again. Take the advantage. He still wants it. He wants to fight so bad. Dashes into his own cloud burst now, pushing over towards stairs. Are they going to be ready for this? Ping out the player of Boathouse, and I see doesn't know what right, he did. man. The impact he has with his ult is insane, man. Smoke, it's leap. Extracting MTA. And our crew are in disarray. Down to two. Spike was picked up at Speedway here. But they're definitely worse for wear. Shy. A gambit. Over towards oh, the one tap, bro. He's having to deal with Lincoln. He had a timing there, but he can't quite convert. Two versus two. Flash over the top. This is the Brazilian. And now it's just heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're dead, bro. Fakes a couple plants, but G2. Oh, no chance for you. No chance for you. Man, we go again. Bro, I think this will be the longest video in a long, long time. It's so at 30 and 8 minutes, I think. You know, the turret on the roof and we could have another map, bro. <laughs> Wishful thinking One hour video? Are you ready there. for this? Jump peaks down mid. Now G2, it's a pretty lightly held tree here. In fact, yes, he just gives it up. Doesn't want to face it on his own. Falls back to the site with Melsa. Shocks. Ooh, okay. Give him a bit of a tickle. Melsa, though, swings that left hand side. It's going to be traded. He tries for one as well, but Leak doubles down. Fallon has that A main position, but is concerned about a flank right now. It's Kesnit from upper and tooth from tree here for crew. And here's that lockdown. It's going to force the issue. The spray though, it's good. MTA knew exactly where to look. Kesnit sees an arm! And G2 
lose a player. Now again, they have to play from hell. This time, they're good for it. Shy forced to drop down, down to the one versus two, and they are grouped up. How do you win this, Shy? Bit of spray. Put the fear of God in him. One. Can he find the second? Oh, that would have been extraordinary. Now it's a chance for G2 to close this one, man. I think G2 is gonna close this right, right now, man. Right here, in this exactly moment, in this round, with Icy. Icy's gonna be forced back by these smokes, and there's no real heaven pressure, no angle posted up for G2. So they're full. Getting trickers. Right now. This is the first OT round where Icy has actually bought a Vandal on the defensive side. It's going to be good for this retake, much better than the knob. First from Jonah. MTA living dangerously, real dangerously there in heaven. Flash, Flash out now towards grass. Nobody from crew oh, shows up. We are MTA, in the first MTA, MTA. It's MTA. He can't hold it down. Leaf runs him into the ground. He wants to push up here. It's going to be Melzer and Shy versus four. They've got to find the timing. That's a good one. There's still two players that have heaven and Shy trying to go for a wild swing. He gets it. Has to win this out. The bullets. Did you? To stay alive. Their hopes of a playoff burst still very much on the table. Clinging on to life. Barely, barely are G2 on their map pick. Never would have thought it would have been that damn close. Kaznet versus Ice on the raise. All the way out of B man. The paranoia is used bottom mid from Melser. Interesting decision. It's all the way through fence. Meeting up with Icy, who's controlling out. towards that A ramp. They groove entirely given this up, right? MTA. Gonna be stacked up with Shy now as G2 want to make their way down to the side, but not of course before leaving a skeleton crew in heaven to deal with this. Here's the flash. Four players for crew. Bustling on the in here, but Leet's on the other side of that wall. Can they route him out or will Leet find the timing? Always the timing. And he will. Always the timing with this guy. Just the one wire, but that's gonna have to be enough. Bannon clears the bomb buddy and now retreats to elbow. This is gonna get ugly. Melser was quite far away actually, watching for a potential mid flank. So a little bit of time wasted, waiting for him to meet up. They're going to smoke off main and now work their way, splitting from main, from screens. Trent took a tickle there for sure. MTA out to the edge of the bloom of the smoke. It's going to be icing now to step up in his stead and he does Talk about Icy, bro. The job done. Line set up to catch in the mail by the looks of things. It's re-smoked in mid. Here comes that showstopper. Icy is on the hunt. The fault line does catch Kesnet, but he still slinks away. Do we check rafters now? MTA set up there. I thought he was in camp. Okay. It's a trade. And you'll definitely take that trade if you're MTA. Not so bad when there's a rocket in your face. The site is going to be taken from G2 into this four versus four. He's going for that? A lot of util for crew to get back in. They have one flash from heat for Sky. Okay. Throw out the horn here. Drona wants to flash. Shy backs away from it, respects it, but G2 slowly taking more control here into CT. That is active from the solo breach. 45 HP, that's rough though. Bro, that. gets double swung. Cruz playing with the HP. Now. The wheels are set in motion. Flash over to the side, confirms players. Doesn't and matter, bro. Comes from an off angle. Huge. Now we're in the two versus two with Fallon. Oh, Trent. Oh, Trent. All of this. All of it. He drops down out of the smoke. He has the, the bullets. Standing. And it should be a simple job for Trent here. Melson makes a bit of noise. Trent does take a glancing blow from some of those shots here. Straight forward. Horn. Get the. Oh, my goodness, Melson. Can he get the. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I never in my life saw no Trent was a clutch like this. Never in my life. Man, sometimes you just need to do the basic stuff, bro. But Melzer once again coming huge for crew, bro. That little satchel there onto Jonah just to bounce him in the corner. Really nice from the crew duelist. Oh, 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 oh mate. He's done that. Can't it. No one can, man. He was looking so good for Trent, bro. Outrageous stuff. This round is all about Jonah P manifesting a material advantage from getting on the other side of this trip but it's still being checked maybe there's a sense that they know the crew know that this trip might not be set properly for them leaf goes over as well and now we're in heaven okay prowler gonna take out the other trip over on the b side of the map it's jonah he has the timing and he's got the hot hand folks the man doesn't miss now shy needs to beautiful shot man Evening the ledger, but I Yo, cool. elsewhere, and it's all up to what was that? With these nasty crackbacks, 
One versus three for the man of the moment. MTA, the bro. Six and two. Some people Still get bad at you, bro. Good for one. No charge. When they watch the VOD. Still Leaf and Trento grouped up in drop. Doubled up. Surely Melser can't convert both. He'd have to hit a crazy spray transfer. Do you believe, folks? Three to two. Time out. So Cypher set up to contend with MTA and Heat here. They're trying to anchor, they do. MTA slips in backside. He's immediately flashed. Okay, this could be ugly though for MTA. Stunned up there by the it's fault line. Right. Trying to find a way to recover here. But what? He's he stunned. He's stunned. Okay, Battle now to find two though. Comfortably enough, Keswick pulls out the showstopper and finds his. Eventually, Trent's going to trade it. It's him. The last player standing. It's him, bro. It's Melsa. One versus one now. Here with that knife, but Trent's still not quite sure where to look. Man, Trent is on fire. This guy is so good, man. This thing is underrated, bro. I keep talking, talking about this, man. Jonah P, Trent, Volley, Leaf. This is, this is so good, bro. I see. Don't forget about Ice, man. The new kid, man. He's getting some kills, you know? He's good, he's good, he's good. Look at the flick from Valen to shut that down. I mean, they have to and be look at the clock it's so low 20 seconds because it delays with the awkward center. he takes the fight he just has to live there mitch might have thrown it away unless shy can be the hero he's covered up so much this site now from behind the poison orb he makes his stand Valen and trainer encroaching running him down he's able to get two for one there setting heat up down b to make this happen behind the box will Valen b he doesn't know where the player is but he gives himself away now wants to push through the smoke Valen's waiting! Oh, it's too good! He's just too good, man. He's just too good, man. With just mere seconds, G2 make that happen, and they shouldn't have been able to. Kesnit overconfident, taking the duels with the Guardian. If he falls back and just sets up a cross with Shy, there's no doubt in my mind that G2's time would have expired in that round. They wouldn't have been able to win it out. They wouldn't have been able to plant that spike. A round that shouldn't have even been... Close with the buy that crew had goes okay. down to the wire. Bro's talking about time out. It's an open book for them. Melzer can wait maybe for this push over towards A. And that only B presence, the sole player over there, is down for G2. Nice, you're going to satchel through. Play with that but it doesn't clear the corner. So Melzer at least. Trying to one report, man. You are insane, but this too much for you, bro. I think. Thirty seconds. Right, Trent now in that one versus four. Money wise, G2 can have a, a decent last round of the half here. Eight to three. Crew needs this pistol, man. Otherwise, is GG. Well, Shy tries to work his magic on A. Valen taking good, good flash. Valen wants to play close here. Oh, great work there. Kesson forced off that line entirely by the aftershock. But Melson. Okay. Cyber cage. He's gonna get rid of Valen. Ugly, ugly. All right, Leaf here from heaven is going to try and drop down through that smoke or wait it out. It's going to be renewed here for crew as they don't yet have a plant. They don't yet feel it's safe to cross. The prowls will confirm their location behind the pillar. Shy considering a flank, but just going to meet up with his teammates. And the playing fake. that smart, playing with to their man advantage. Just going to try to trade this thing out. Haunt now regenerated for Trent. Leaf's still unsure about how to navigate the smoke, but he's getting renewed and all. Oh, he's still got one. Correction by Trent, but still B. a one for one. Now it looks like Karu dangerous, like dangerous. To go for this giant death footwork here. Lee trying to cut it up into two one v one. They need the pistol and they got him, man. There's hope. Again, just a silent clearing from G2. I know and they're just exactly in bed, Lee. That's all they do. Are. However, neural theft might be a problem here. A wrench thrown in the works forces G2 to split. They get pinged out heading towards the A side. They might still head that way. They clear ramp with the Prowler. Oh, buddy, Melsa! Appears right in front of Jonah, who then follows up with a flash, disorienting Heat further. Two players from G2 now spamming through that smoke in heaven. And it's only shy. Clean by G2. Enviable task of rotating into a 1v4. 11 to 5. No money for crew, my friends. And less for uh, just a mirror. You gotta save this weapon, bro. You gotta save this weapon. It's going to be 11 for G2. You're in towards B, mate. This is awkward. Woo. Hey, Trent gets caught out there by MTA. Okay, if they win this round, maybe they're so. He can't get involved. He does get the audio cue of the two players falling back, though. Oh, Kesnet, Kesnet, looking good. Oh, by Kesnet, and he does. Big player advantage for Crew. They have to convert this to make this comeback a reality. 
Okay, Icy makes his rotation here. Maybe hoping to sh quiet the showstopper. Kesin has to go up the road to this. He has to try and get value. Makes the sound. No one around to see it. Now they've truly cleared heaven. Icy having to deal with the trailblazer and the bomb buddy as well. He had his hands full there and has to back away. Now to the site, crew have gone. They are swarming over it. Player in screens, two players still trying to fight in the head. Jonah Boom, man. This guy is so good, bro. Crew have planted for heaven. Private Trey. All about shy on this reflank. Finding a timing, not going down, but he does. One on site, one elbow, one in drop here for crew. Decent setup. Three versus three in G2 now in the retake. Fold line. Can they capitalize? Oh, he has the off anger, but Valen checks it. He always bloody checks it. Now he'll search forward, but MTA is going to go to the team. He doesn't have any flashes left. It's in. It's in. Yo, I seen it before. I saw that before. I saw that before. I don't know what happens. I know the final, bro. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to hide. You're on Jonah P's wild ride, baby. Another inevitability. Mad people, my friends. Oh, that was insane, man. The speed there. The reaction time is just sickening. They can't convert the five on three. Little mistakes made. Well done, man. Well done. And I love the Remember the ace? He knows the fault line Just close the game. On the left side and elbow. I see Pops it. He's going for it. Who's set up in mid? Kenton's already down. He sees heat in the classic corner. Tries to satchel Chai. Doesn't get anything for it. Jonah. So ready. True had their tension last and bro. It's just too many angles for MTA to clear. G2 looking too good here on split. Didn't give you much of a chance. Night foul for Trent. Can do the unthinkable. And it's only right that G2 do just that. I mean, we have two teams here who have been on the opposite trajectories. Crew stage one, an indomitable force. They made it to the playoffs, knocked out by G2, who made it to Shanghai. No one expected that. And Crew so close to revenge against them. But it's just not going to happen. 30 seconds left. It's Melsa with the paranoia and the ability to... And this was a great series. Great series. G2 is so distributed across the map. They have Nightfall as well if there's a, an attempt at a plant. Trent can hold this line. He sees Shy. Backs away. 18 seconds. Discipline here. And that's going to be it. Short GG! G2 return to America's. Remind the locals of who they sent to represent them in Shanghai. And they've locked up another playoff berth. There is no team I can think of that displays resilience like G2. No matter what, they come back in a series and somehow it's always on Ascent Map 2 that they get that rolling.